What's up guys, I'm Venus Stars, and this is the second episode of our 1.18 Let's Play. In this episode, we are going to the nether, and crazy stuff will happen there. I am serious when I'm saying that playing nomadically is super difficult, and in this video, you'll see why. So keep watching to find out what happens next. And with that, let's start. Alright guys, I'm up here on the surface with full diamond armor, ready to enchant it. Alright, and now I have protection 2 on my boots, protection 1 on my leggings, protection 1 on my diamond chest plate, and protection 1 on my helmet. And I am full enchanted. Before I went to the nether, I wanted to make sure I had at least 3 diamonds to replace my diamond pickaxe. And just as I was about to stop mining, I found them. ready to start making the nether portal. So, um... Now it's time to light the portal. Yeah, I accidentally made the portal too, uh, too short, so... <sighs> Alright, now it's time to light the portal. Oh, let's go! Oh my god. Alright, alright. And we're going in the nether, boys! Oh no, the lava. Ah! Seriously? Whatever. Alright, I have some gold. In case I want to trade with some piglins. I'm wearing a golden helmet so the piglins don't get mad at me. And yeah, let's explore this thing. Alright, so my goal right now is definitely to find either a, um, bastion or a fortress, or both. That'd be nice. Okay, so, I have a saddle. There's these things. So if I take a saddle, can I ride them? Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. Come on, I wanna get a little bit... Why is there a baby on top of that? Oh my god, oh my god I'm on. Okay. Press left, shift, this one. How do I... Oh, I need a... I need, like, that fishing rod thing to control it. Now I can't get off. Uh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. It has my saddle on it. Okay, whatever. How do I get the saddle off? Oh, it's a potion. All right, here's some more gold, sir. Potion of fire resistance! Let's go. All right. All right, now if I'm ever in trouble, uh, inventory space is starting to be a bit of a problem. I'm sure that'll come up in the next episodes. <gasps> oh, oh! Oh, I found a bastion! Oh, no. Uh oh. I have to get over this little ravine. And there's a ghast somewhere that I can hear in the distance. Or not in the distance. Come here! Ah. Uh, yeah. Almost there. Okay, come on. Come on, die! Yes! Finally! I never know where to go in a bastion, so... I am really scared. But, it's okay. I can do it. Hopefully. Maybe. Not. Hope you don't mind that I'm... You know, just coming to check on things. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy... Holy smokes! Oh my god, those things hit like a truck! Oh my god! No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Please tell me they're not chasing me. Oh my god, don't stop chasing me! Holy smokes! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my... Why are they still chasing me? 
Why are they still chasing me? Oh. My. God. <sighs> my heartbeat is going so fast right now. Alright, I'm eating my gapple. And I'm going in. Okay, I'm in. Not exactly sure where all the gold is, because this kind of looks like a smaller bastion. Alright, so I got a lava bucket, and my plan is to get in the bastion and lava bucket the uh, piglin brutes. And that way, I'll be able to kill them, because my sword does not... It takes, like, a million hits to kill a piglin brute with my sword. So, I need a lava bucket. I continue exploring the bastion, but all I find are hoglins and nothingness. But, I do kill the hoglins with my lava bucket, so it was very useful. And, I don't find anything until I find a chest. Alright, so I just got from the Bastion, and my inventory is full, uh, so it's starting to become more of an issue now, but, um, the Bastion was pretty much empty, but I did find this Diamond Pickaxe that's Efficiency 4, which is great, so I'm gonna use that soon, and that'll be really helpful when I, uh, you know, try and get Netherite. So. I go in the direction of Positive X in order to find a Fortress, but... I stumble across this huge lava pool that would be really hard to cross. And after a gasp, almost kills me. And then goes into the lava pool. I decide to go into a different direction. So I go in the direction of positive Z. And literally a hundred blocks in that direction, I find Fortress. I found it. So, uh, oh my, whoa, whoa, they're like looking at me. I, I, it's so cool though. That is so cool. And we're in the fortress. Uh, another, gonna really need another one. The thing is, my inventory is running pretty low. I mean, I I don't know what to throw away. I, at least I'll throw away this chest plate. This is gonna be a problem. I almost hit the, I almost hit him. That would be unfortunate. Oh my God. Can you, like, not? You, yo, this pigment is so annoying. If I hit the pigment, everyone's gonna get mad at me and I'll be so screwed. And I'm trying to mine here. I'm very low on resources. I only have two steak left out of all of my food. So I'm going to go back into the overworld, regain my resources, and come back. Oh, I found an enderman. All right. Let's just... Basically, 
Playing nomadically has a lot of challenges to it. One of those challenges is inventory space. Look, my entire inventory is filled right now. And that's because I don't have a place to, I don't have a chest to store all my stuff. Which is why I want to make an ender chest so I can put some of the stuff there. And I got a stack and a half of blaze rods because I don't have silk touch on my pickaxe, which leads to the second huge challenge that only playing nomadically has. I don't have silk touch, so I have to keep making ender chests. <gasps> First try! Oh, let's go! Okay, let's see if you can give me something else. Holy smokes, I am lucky. Let's go, another potion of fire resistance. All right, so it's time to make um, an ender chest. So, take this, I'm gonna get blaze powder. I take this, I get an eye of ender. I take this, and I get an ender chest. Now, place the ender chest down, open it, I have more inventory. All right, and now if I mine it, I get my obsidian back. But all the stuff is stored in there. I don't need that stuff right now. So yeah, it's time to start mining for netherite. Let's go. All right, this is so annoying me. There's a gas in the background, just like, I can hear it, it's giving me anxiety. But uh, my pickaxe that I found from the bastion has efficiency four on it, which means that it insta mines, but it's really low. So I'm gonna make an anvil and fix it up with some diamonds. So yeah, so have this, diamond pickaxe, diamond. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, so now my pickaxe is at uh, almost full health. So that's good. And let's keep mining for netherite. I'm at Y15, and I'm going along the chunk of borders. So. Let's go! I found netherite! Let's go! Let's see how much. Two? I think it's two. Yup! Oh! oh I, can't, I can't hold it. Let's go! That's, that's, that's cool. All right, let's keep going. I have a confession to make. I know I said that this episode I was gonna mine for netherite, and the problem is I don't have enough diamonds to keep making diamond pickaxes or to keep making sure this pickaxe doesn't break. So I'm going, so I got five ancient debris, which will be enough to make a netherite uh, pickaxe for me. And I'm going to mine for netherite after I go to the end in a few episodes. So make sure that you check that out when the, when the episode comes out. So yeah. I thought what I did here was really funny, so I kept it in. So I made an ender trust, and I put all the stuff I needed in there, but I broke it before I remembered that I had an extra piece of ancient debris that was smelting in the furnace that I had to put in there to save inventory space. So I make another ender trust, put it down, and then I I forgot that I, was, that I made that ender trust for the ancient debris. So I'm like, oh, I think I opened this ender chest for gold. So I take out the gold from the ender chest and then break the ender chest before the ancient debris has smelted in the furnace. And then as I have two ender pearls left to make two ender chests, I remember, oh my God, I just made like three ender chests and I forgot what I was supposed to do the whole time. So I now I just have another piece of netherite scraps in my inventory. Alright guys, and that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment. It means so much to me when you do that. And stay tuned for the next episode. Bye!